Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. After a long time in lockdown, in isolation, in the house in France, we are finally back on board Motio AWOL here in Pisa, in dry dock, in the shed, but we are back to work. Uh, as of yesterday, the Italians have lifted slightly the restrictions, allowing contractors back on board. We still have to, you know, respect the social distancing, but the jobs now finally continue. So what does that mean? We've got a number of jobs which were completely stopped because the contractors shut down completely. So the jobs we have to do are going to be um, finishing off the two propellers. So the two propellers are off the, the vessel. They are in Genoa at the moment, which is about two, two hours away. They're getting a bit of repair done and um, having them all polished up, ready for the 2020 season. We having the port side bridge deck window replaced. Uh, some of you may not know that got damaged during the paint job we did last year. So it's being fixed under warranty. So the scaffold is already been erected, which I'm gonna show you a little later. And they got to remove the old glass panel off and install the new one. Here in the engine room, I'm going to show you guys shortly is we're working on installing um, electronic valves for the exhausts so when the engines are running over a thousand rpm the exhausts go under the boat rather over the side the reason we're doing that is because we're experiencing from the exhaust of the, of the main engines is that on the side of the hull it gets very mucky and uh, full of soot so this will help us restrict you know causing that um, that muck to stick to the hull of the vessel uh, we're having a number of the Sani splits replaced. Now, a Sani split is basic, basically like a pump, which will pump any kind of uh, grey or black water from its uh, position, say on the sink in the master cabin, to the main grey and black water tanks. Engine room door has been taken off because we have to replace the hinges, and we've also removed the ECR door uh, because we were experiencing issues with the with door bending. But anyway. Let me um, go and show you guys what's going on. Really happy to be back. Really happy to be back doing Captain's Vlog again. It's been a long time. Thank you guys for your patience. And for those of you who've been watching the, uh, the live streams, I really appreciate all your support. And thanks again. <laughs> These boxes here, these are called Sani splits, right? So these are the old ones, they're getting replaced. Uh, so basically what happens is when you, um, using the, I don't say, the, the shower or the sink, the water drains down the normal um, plug, down the sink, it goes into these Sani splits and inside here there's a pump and it pumps the, it pumps the dirty water to the main black and gray tank. So what we're doing, we're actually changing the system on board throughout the entire boat. There are over 20 Sani splits on board and we're doing a fast release, fast mount system. Because when these things fail, it's a bit of a pain to, uh, to undo them, do them up again. So we're changing the whole system so it's easy to put in and put out uh, for, the, for the engineer and it's making the vessel a lot more efficient. As a lot of you already know, we're constantly trying to make the boat better, improving it on a daily basis. Now you can see here, this board's been taken off, got all the wiring coming through. What this is for, additional, it's all taken down as well. So what they're doing here, essentially, is this is the now the electronics for the uh, valve system for the exhaust. So what we want to do is we've got two outlets for each main engine exhaust. We've got an outlet that goes over the side on the hull, uh, top side, and then we've got an outlet that comes uh, underneath the water line. So what we want to do, when we're running at over a thousand RPM, we want the exhaust to come underneath the boat, not over the side to reduce the amount of soot. So this is the wiring they're doing, and it's gonna be an automatic control that's, that's registered with the RPM of the engine. So when, it's, when it reaches over a thousand RPM, it's gonna put the, the valve into uh, underneath mode rather than over the side mode. 
As I mentioned earlier, we've removed the engine room door here. Don't worry, it is to isolate the fire, but all the systems are off, the main engines are off, the generators are off, we're out of the water. And then when we leave the boats, you know, the after late afternoons, all the electrics on board are completely shut down. So minimizing the risk is a temporary. The door's just outside. So we just need to change the hinges here and we're changing the hinges here also. So I'm going to take you guys and show you what else we're doing up here is we've removed this door as well because this door is really, really heavy. And what happened, what's been happening over time is it keeps from the top, from the weight of the door, it bends kind of off the hinge. And over time, we can't close the door. We've had it repaired multiple times. So we said, no, let's do a proper repair this time. So we're going to put a reinforced stainless steel plate inside here which is going to be bolted to the door, which then, in theory, it should um, be a lot stronger, reducing the risk of it bending and flexing and not being, open to, not being able to open and close. So guys, as you can imagine, the crew and I are desperate to get the season started and get the summer kicked off, get AWOL in the water and do some Mediterranean cruising. Hopefully, we get a few more charter bookings. If not, I'm sure the owner of the boat is going to use the boat a lot more. Now, for those who don't already know, we're offering you the opportunity to win a week's vacation on board Moti or AWOL with five of your closest friends and family, all expenses paid for. Just check out the link in the description, follow the instructions, and the tickets start from £15, which is around 20 US dollars. And if all goes according to plan, we're hoping to be in Croatia for this summer. Uh, we've been... A lot of noise. Of all the workers, they're very loud. Oh. It was all quiet before I started filming. The second I start filming, all the noise happens. So yes, as I was... Really? It was silent for like two minutes and then... Okay, yeah, sorry guys. As I was saying, very excited to get to back in the water and go to Croatia, my favorite cruising grounds. Um, we've got to see yet yeah, a nice set in stone about the restrictions coming up in June, July and August. So we're all keeping very positive and hoping for the best. And we're getting different information on a daily basis from different people and nothing seems to really gel. It's all kind of hearsay. But anyway, um, really hoping to do some more videos of the boat in the water for you guys for this season. I want to show you guys, I'm hoping to show you guys Croatia. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, give you guys a full... Um, summer scene and what it's like on board a yacht in Croatia, fingers crossed. So for those of you who don't know, we have shoes which, which we wear on deck, these bad boys, and then we have shoes we wear on the dock which you can see are a lot dirtier. So we're going to put these bad boys on, make our way down to the ground here, I guess garage. These are working here as well, you can see. Bit of a mess. That's the door there for the engine room. We got the pass. The, so the passerelle or the gangway. Well, we're replacing the wood on the fore part of the passerelle because we had a bit of cracking on it, so I needed replacing. It is over ten years old, and people walking on and off it is going to wear and tear. Here's some more uh, sandy splits, the new sandy split boxes, and then the workbench, which is a bit messy at the moment. Slav, come on, you can be tired than that. Jason, the. Um Chief Officer has painted our anchor chain. So we're gonna have a quick look at that as well. So you guys can see here. Okay, so this is our starboard chain. You can see it's all being painted. So the first um, bit of paint is white at the beginning of the chain. So here's the anchor, right? There's the chain. And then for each shackle, we paint it a different color. Starboard side, you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five. Port side, we've got four shackles. One shackle is a little over 27 meters in length. Um, so these get taken out and painted every year so we know how much chain is in the water. 
Right guys, that concludes today's video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click that thumbs up button because it really, really helps the channel. Uh, as you can tell, very excited to be back on board. Really excited to hopefully get the season started. Again, we're waiting to hear from the authorities in different countries to where we would like to visit. Uh, but at least now there's movement, there's contractors back on board, there's work happening and uh, really excited to get the season started and hopefully get to Croatia and show you guys how beautiful Croatia is. Um, if you haven't done already, you must subscribe. And the reason I say you must subscribe because otherwise you might miss future videos. You don't want to be doing that. And again, do check out the merch shelf below. We've got some great merchandise. I look forward to seeing you all next video.